welcome you all for engineering chemistry classes today we are going to discuss on the construction working and applications of methanol oxygen fuel cell and solid oxide fuel cell so let us discuss first with the methanol oxygen fuel cell so this is a diagram of a methanol oxygen fuel cell where the methanol is used as a fuel and the oxygen is used as a oxidant and the electrolyte is of HTSO4 that is sulfuric acid and we have an anode and cathode compartment both are made up of a platinum only and adjacent to the cathode we have a membrane which helps us to prevent the diffusion of a methanol at the cathode if there is no membrane then there is a possibility of methanol to come in contact with the cathode and may undergo oxidation reaction and especially here we are using a fuel as a methanol because methanol is having a good properties as such like it is having low carbon content and there is a easily oxidizable group in the methanol and it is highly soluble in water because of these properties we are using fuel as a methanol here and the oxygen is continuously supplied at the cathode and Similarly here the methanol is along with the sulfuric acid is being supplied in the at the anode uh, through the anodic compartment and there will be a continuous reaction is going to take place. So let us discuss about the working of a methyl oxygen fuel cell. At anode we can see we are supplying a fuel that is a methanol and where HTSO4 is along with which it is undergoing another reaction Maybe we can write it like a methanol water molecule and from which we are going to get in a carbon dioxide then 6H plus and 6 electron since it is anodic reaction there is a liberation of electron that is 6 electron is liberated and at the cathode the oxygen is been supplied at the cathode electrode and we have an oxygen and it is going to react with an H plus ion that is acid then the electron which is going to give us the three water molecule and the overall reaction is going to be 6H plus and 6 electron got cancelled and one water molecule is got cancelled and we left and the left side is CS3OH that is methanol plus 3 and half oxygen gives carbon dioxide and 2H2O. So this is a working of a methanol oxygen fuel cell and here the output from this cell is from 1.3 to 1.5 volt and the applications of a methanol oxygen fuel cell is been widely used in military and especially for charging equipments and also for use using as autonomous power for test and training instruments so this is the application of a military and here uh, this is uh, considered as a very important question in uh, connection with an examination submission and examination so you have to practice this and you please try to understand the working of a methyl oxygen fuel cell and quickly we move on to a solid oxide fuel cell and here as I am showing a diagram this is a solid oxide fuel cell Again we have anode and cathode and electrolyte. Here the anode is made up of a cobalt zirconium oxide or nickel zirconium oxide. And cathode is made up of a strontium which is doped with a lanthanum manganese oxide. And electrolyte is of a solid that's why it is called as a solid oxide fuel. So here we are using metal oxide usually zirconium oxide which is doped with 8 to 10 mole percentage of yttrium oxide right so this is why we call it as a solid oxide fuel cell and here let me tell you one more important thing that the ionic conduction takes place by the migration of oxygen ions across the electrolyte through the vacant lattices so this is how uh, this helps by this helped by this uh, electrolyte so electrolyte plays a very important role in this uh, solid oxide fuel cell 
now coming to the principle that is exactly working is there but again let me tell you the principle how the reaction or how the electron are uh, liberating we here so where the oxygen is supplied at the cathode compartment and the oxygen is going to react with the incoming electron from the external source and forms an oxygen ion and that oxygen ion moves towards the cathode through this ion conducting uh, electrolyte and when it comes in contact with the hydrogen it undergo reaction and forms an a water molecule along with the water molecule the electrons were liberated and this electron is been withdrawn from the external load and similarly continuously the process is going to be continuous like this and this is how continuously we can withdraw the electron from the fuel cell so the same thing let me explain with the reactions here at the anode as i told let me tell you that first the cathode reaction so it will be very easy to understand uh, with the, the principle the oxygen is which is coming into the cathode compartment which is going to react with the electron from the source external source and forms an oxygen ion we call it as oxide ion also and this oxide ion is going to react with the hydrogen and forms an a water molecule and electron so this is a reaction with respect to solid oxide fuel cell and one more important thing here we can use hydrogen and also we can use another uh, few another another material as a fuel that is a, a carbon monoxide that also can be used or uh, hydrogen or reformed fuel is also can be used as a fuel in this solid oxide fuel cell if i use the same thing then we can say here carbon monoxide is going to react with the oxygen oxide ion forms a carbon dioxide as output and two electron is going to be liberated and the cathode reaction is same with respect to this material or this compound as a fuel and here the applications of solid oxide fuels is have uh, where, where large amount of heat is required and used in a locomotive and large amount of heat is required there we are using it uh, as a solid oxide has a application and one more important i left to tell you people and this cell operates at uh, 650 to 1000 degree centigrade this is one more thing which i left to explain you people so this is with respect to solid oxide fuel cell so you please practice this if you want to understand my explanation please let me know i'll explain once again i'll float or i'll post the other videos accordingly thank you